Speak today at Deepdale, fair to say that like Ipswich, we did more than enough to take something from that. Well, people have their opinions. Um, I think the possession of the ball, you know, it doesn't mean anything possession of the ball, of course, but I think chances created, shots on goal, shots on target, corner kicks, generally letting you know where the game has been played. I think generally it was played around their goal more than our goal. and. Um, and yet, um, we didn't find a way to put the ball in the net more than once. And um, I think it's a bit harsh on the team that we lost that game. And yet, as I've said to them, the naivety of the performance, really, the, um, to even give them some opportunities, because they were, in my mind, they weren't really in the game to create chances and uh, other than the set plays that they earned. Um, so we're really disappointed, but um, we have to keep going. We have to keep believing that what we're doing is right, that we can, we can dominate the ball and we do have more shots and... and opportunities around the opposition box. The number of times we got behind their team today and was trying to pick somebody out in the six yard box for a tap in was um, kept hitting the first man of course. It was really, really frustrating for us. Um, but all areas to keep working on. Um, I thought there was lots of positives. Ultimately you get judged on the result and the result is negative. That's two negative results in the league this season for us. So um, It'll turn round if you keep playing as, as, as um, I was going to say as well, but if you have as much possession and domination in games home or away, you're going to end up putting the ball in the opposition net more than they put in yours and you're going to win plenty of games. So, um, of course, every team's different and every team's got different ways of playing and we have to prepare um, for each game as it comes along. But um, I thought, as I said, I, I thought enough positives today to feel that and we're on the right track. We just we just uh, missing some ingredients at the moment, and when when we have those ingredients, I'll stand in front of you after games, hopefully talking about victories and great goals. Bradley Dak in the starting eleven today. Good for him to get more minutes as we try and get up to speed as soon as possible. Yeah, I think so. I think it was a gamble worth taking. I think you know I'd looked at the game at the end of last season and the domination of the ball in that game, and and it was really created by not playing centre forward down the middle, getting marked by their big three centre halves, and so we could overload in the middle of the pitch and you know, Ahmed obviously played that position and um, and he bent one right in the top corner of course pretty uh, early on in that second half there so um, yeah we, we just thought it was better not to have a big centre forward for three big centre halves to mark and fight and and um, but other games you know other games he'll be important for us in the box and put balls in the box and, and be the guy in between the sticks and hopefully when things fall he can put them in the net. Um, it was just a game where we felt we wanted to keep the ball off them today and try and dominate and create chances with our wide players getting in behind them and we did that numerous times and yet we couldn't find the answer to a cutback and a goal. Two goals from deflections today went against us, that's three out of four now in the league, important that we work hard this week to turn our own luck around. Yeah I think so, I think so and you know I don't want to I mean, the, the first goal of the day was almost identical to Broadhead's goal in, on, on, for Ipswich. It, um, you know, he was just running across the box and the ball was there. He hit him on the shin and went in. It, um, so I think nobody, if nobody in our dressing room is, is, is we, we're concerned, we concerned, we want to win games. So we're not happy. But um, we do feel as if in them two games, we've, we've shown more than enough that we're going to win plenty of football matches and dominate lots of football matches and um, and hopefully give the fans lots to shout about as the season unfolds in front of us. We're two league games in, of course we're disappointed but um, let's let's look after a dozen games or 20 games where we are before we anybody starts thinking what's good and what's bad.